All right, family, get a new support of Mary Lee. That's for Mary Lee. This is a roundup portion of the video and stuff for the day, December 24th, 2019. So they say it could very well be 2018. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, guys, they play so many games, especially when it comes to money. There's a hundred different ways to make money. Now, Dr. Claw Anderson is on um, the Breakfast Club. You know, I think they posted him today or whatever and stuff. Look. When I said back in the day, y'all don't believe me, ask Claude Anderson. You know what time it is. I didn't say that as him being a friend. All skin folks ain't kin folks. Y'all know that and shit. I just said that, you know, for y'all to ride him a little harder and stuff. And in the um, Breakfast Club video, he talked about, you know, you know, blacks owning stuff or whatever from 1927 to 1967, which is, you know, the year my mother was born 27 and 67, the year I was born. You understand what I'm saying? The ghetto news put a Miriam Dash between the Mary and the Lee. Now, you know, you know, he has written several books and they say you want to keep something from a black person, put it in the um, you know, in a book and stuff. Now look, when you know you, you don't even need to read a book and stuff and stuff. You know, you know, they 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 put out a story in the uh in the Bible or whatever. They got it all you know, post it. They put it all in your face and stuff in my city, Chicago. You know, they tell everything, you know, when it pertains to real Native Americans and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? See, the money is in Mississippi. We know that. You understand what I'm saying? That's why they have taken my, um, they took my car and stuff because they know I, I, they knew back in the day I drove from, you know, Chicago to Mississippi and stuff and I was driving around that motherfucker like, you know, it was my land. It's, it is my land. You, you don't need a map when you know how to navigate or whatever. So they have since, since they have taken my um, car or whatever in 2008 after they railroaded me, made their first 2008, said I disarmed the police officer, something I did not do. You know, just police harassment all the time. Even when I went to Mississippi to visit my foster uh, parents, the Redmonds and stuff, they pulled me over for a ticket and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Just can't, just can't get away. You understand what I'm saying? We're doing the right thing or whatever and stuff. Long story short, I went back a second time on the train or whatever. Ain't no telling who came back with me. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk, because by then my um, foster father, uh, Leon Baker Redman, who I know was a, probably a police officer, and we know that don't even fucking exist and shit. It's just motherfuckers that put a scheme together, a uniform, and say, this is what we're going to do to rob the Native Americans. And if you a baby, you don't... You know, you don't know what time it is. You got to trust somebody until you grow up or whatever and stuff. But, you know, God take care of babies and fools, real so. And, you know, and that's why I'm, you know, very good at what I do, being your ghetto news reporter. But I don't, you know, report all the news, just the stuff pertaining to me because I don't, you know, jump in people's business or whatever. Nobody's business. So when y'all jump in mine, it just lets you know who y'all are and who I am. We're talking about character. That's what Martin Luther King said. We judge a person by their character, not they acting skills or whatever not that character you know because tupac say everybody want to play a character and stuff no i don't want to be no goddamn character i want to be me but they have you know not afforded me that they played the old bait and switch you understand what i'm saying see my foster sister kimberly redmond could have very well been my real sister i don't know the color purple is definitely based on us and stuff you know and i used to take up for her but she used to lie a lot and you know i told the truth so you know they have put one against the other and she had a couple of children things of that nature or whatever so ain't no telling what she did to you know keep them you know to grow them up or whatever she could have you know sold me out or whatever and stuff that's what people do when money is involved and stuff see they keep pushing that slavery stuff but i knew at you know 10 years old when slavery uh the movie roots came out in 1977 that that was some bullshit you understand what i'm saying i looked at it like these motherfuckers and lost their goddamn mind so we talking about dog uh, uh uh claude anderson and stuff you know throwing out numbers see they say numbers don't lie you understand what i'm saying so when you say 1927 and 1967 they could have did a bait and switch and i could have got my foster sister kimberly redman or real sister you know you know birthday or whatever and problems and stuff you understand what i'm saying and she took my my real stuff and they in mississippi balling out of control and i'm still in the north catching hell and shit hey look i just bought a whole bunch of grits and motherfucking goddamn oatmeal and shit now this shit supposed to be good for you look i'm supposed to be working out on a diet this that and whatever and stuff you know what i'm saying look i'm not too proud to eat grits and oatmeal and stuff I'm not too proud to clean up my you know bathroom where i got to get down on my knees and scrub the, the you know bathroom a uh, shower or whatever and stuff you understand what i'm saying but too much pride will kill you and too much power will break you and stuff. So all you motherfuckers running around thinking y'all got the power and the money and the 
prestige or whatever and stuff, just know, hey, you will come running before it's over with. I guarantee you that. So I hope, you know, y'all get a glimpse of, you know, that Breakfast Club, you know, with Dr. Claude Anderson. It looked like he is at his wit's end and, you know, how people be waiting and stuff for that perfect opportunity and stuff to cut the person's throat that fed their ass all them goddamn years. You know what I'm saying? That was reparations. When I was out there on the front line selling general merchandise and being a business lady and showing people how to go about being a business person or whatever and stuff, that was reparations. Independence is freedom, motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? When you are free to own, you know, but now they in my city trying to tax me to death, trying to do all kinds of stuff, and these motherfuckers is tricking every time I go to the goddamn store. So that's what they was doing all along and stuff, but they needed me to you know, stay out there after 1995, a little bit longer and stuff, you understand what I'm saying, and I told him in 1995 I was worth more dead than I am alive, and I have yet to fucking fool you motherfuckers like the goddamn video um, with this white group of Michael Jackson, you know, they put makeup on and stuff, they had a little tooth right there, but then I'm starting to believe maybe they, they not after Michael Jackson, maybe they after me, but they singing Michael Jackson songs and stuff, maybe I'm part of the Jackson family, who know, or whatever and stuff, but I do know when I got this tooth, my de dentist asked me, you sure you want that? I was like, yeah, see, that lets me know when people are trying to, you know, imitate me and stuff, because when they do me with the tooth, you understand what I'm saying? That's letting people know that who they after and stuff. Real fucking talk. You got to do something and stuff. Real talk. So Claude Anderson, he's you know he's one of them white people that he had a um he had a um he said he used to be a pilot or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying or whatever. Ain't no way in hell I'd have took that job and stuff because God, you know, so show favor just by him being able to take off and land all the time. He need to do the right thing and stop trying to throw me on the bus. He doing all that goddamn coughing and shit. You understand what I'm saying? I told a motherfucker when they cough, that means they lying and shit. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. You understand? Because that's what people do. They cough. Y'all already told me. Real Mary McAmyers, look at the damn video. You know I ain't lying. Now, I don't know what they plan on doing with me because, like I said, they don't pay me enough to care. And if I look out this motherfucker window tomorrow and ain't no goddamn drop-top Cadillac truck out there, I'm going to be very disappointed it being Christmas and all that stuff, you know. See, I don't know what they waiting on and stuff because, you know, I've already won and stuff. Real fucking tough. What part do you understand? You understand what I'm saying? I proved my point and all that other shit that y'all did. That was force. You understand what I'm saying? When y'all held me down in 2016... And gave me all kind of um, uh, 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 drugs and things of that nature. See, they've been trying to get me for the longest. It's like the Harriet Tubman and stuff movie, the original Harriet Tubman and stuff. And, you know, Harriet had to pull that gun out at the end and stuff. And that white man jumped off the motherfucking goddamn train and shit. Be but he, he, he tipped his hat like, you know, but they never, they never fucking stopped. Because they hate losing. They hate losing. And look, I ain't even got a gun. All I got this is fucking camera and the motherfuckers goddamn and be acting a fool and shit. What y'all gonna do, for real? Huh? Real talk, I am a free lady. You would not make a slave out of me. I'll eat grits all motherfucking day and get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Ladies, get stronger and shit. You gotta be a man, for real. Because these motherfuckers done lost their goddamn mind and shit, trying to take minds and shit. I hope it's worth going to hell. Remember Merry Christmas, haters? I invested in people. Y'all are people. I don't give a fuck if you have dog, have cat, have rat, have caveman, have whatever the fuck. You understand? Have gorilla. You understand what I'm saying? If you got any human in you, believe me, you a person. For real. So, you know, miss me with that bullshit. Merry Christmas to all the ones who really hung in there with me or whatever and stuff. The ones that's robbing me. I ain't going to get nothing. I already know. But you never know. You never know, right? I ain't going to be able to get a news reporter for free. I know that, though. Mm -mm. See, Christmas started with Hanukkah on the 22nd. And then you got to go Merry Christmas. That's me. And then you got, uh, you know, what's that other one with the black people? Uh, yeah, so I'm in the middle of some fucking shit. Y'all know what time it is and shit. Real Kwanzaa. Yeah, they didn't put me in the middle. The fucking fake Jews and the real natives and then the fucking Africans and shit. Imagine that, Kwanzaa taking over more goddamn days of the fucking goddamn holiday. We get one little funky day. And that's why my high power gave me my sobriety date on Christmas. You understand what I'm saying? To prove to you motherfuckers, y'all done lost y'all goddamn mind. If you think I can't take out two birds with one stone. With that, this is your good news reporter, Marilyn. That's 20 Marilyn Lee. Peace.